Welcome to our educational video on COBIT. In this video, we will explore the COBIT framework, its importance in IT governance, and how it can help manage information effectively. So, what exactly is COBIT? It stands for Control Objectives for Information and Related Technologies, a comprehensive framework designed to align IT with business goals and efficiently manage enterprise IT. Next, let's understand why IT governance is crucial. Proper IT governance isn't just a technical necessity, it's a fundamental component for any organization aiming for operational excellence and strategic alignment. Effective IT governance ensures maximum value from information and technology, managed efficiently. In the segments to follow, we will delve deeper into the key principles and components of COBIT, providing you with a step-by-step -step guide on implementing this framework in your organization. Stay tuned as we embark on this journey to mastering IT governance with COBIT. Let's get started by understanding the first critical element, what constitutes IT governance and its role in organizational success. In today's highly digital world, IT governance plays an essential role in aligning IT strategy with business goals. But what exactly is IT governance? Simply put, it's the framework ensuring IT investments support an organization's objectives. Why is this so critical? Without proper IT governance, organizations can face a multitude of challenges, from operational inefficiencies to severe security risks. Imagine a company where IT projects aren't aligned with business goals, resources are wasted, and opportunities are missed. On the flip side, Effective IT governance can streamline processes, enhance decision-making, and elevate overall business performance. Moreover, a robust IT governance framework helps in managing risks associated with IT. It ensures that information is controlled and aligned with the organization's strategy. This alignment boosts productivity, fosters innovation, and gives a competitive advantage. As we delve deeper into this video, We'll explore these concepts in detail and walk you through the control objectives for information and related technologies, or COBIT framework, which provides a comprehensive guide to IT governance and management. In this segment, we're going to dive into the COBIT framework. But what exactly is COBIT? COBIT stands for Control Objectives for Information and Related Technologies. It's a comprehensive framework for developing, implementing, monitoring, and improving IT governance and management practices. First, let's take a brief look at the history and development of COBIT. Originally introduced by ISACA in the mid-1990s, COBIT has evolved significantly and is now recognized globally as a key tool for ensuring IT aligns with business goals. Now, let's look at the core components that make up COBIT. The framework includes specific processes, control objectives, management guidelines, and maturity models that align IT goals with business objectives. These components help organizations create value from their IT investments while minimizing risks. Understanding COBIT is crucial for IT professionals, business managers, and students alike, as it provides a structured way to manage IT governance and control. You'll also see how each component of COBIT fits into a broader strategy for effective IT management. In our next segment, we'll explore the five key principles that form the foundation of COBIT, emphasizing their importance in creating a holistic governance framework. At the heart of the COBIT framework are the five key principles that anchor its effectiveness and versatility. First, we have meeting stakeholder needs ensuring the IT strategy aligns with the diverse and dynamic requirements of all parties. Next, covering the enterprise end-to-end -end is crucial for integrating IT governance and management across all facets of the organization. The principle of applying a single integrated framework brings cohesion by harmonizing various standards and practices into one comprehensive model. Meanwhile, Enabling a holistic approach emphasizes the interconnectedness of all IT processes and resources, promoting a system where each component influences the others. Lastly, separating governance from management distinguishes strategic oversight and policymaking from operational execution and control. 
This ensures governance responsibilities are distinct and do not blur with day-to-day -day management tasks, fostering clarity and accountability. These principles are not just theoretical constructs but practical guidelines that can transform how IT governance is perceived and practiced in any organization. As we delve deeper into COBIT's components next, you'll see how these principles come to life through actionable insights and strategies for your IT governance needs. Now that we've explored the principles of COBIT, let's delve into its core components. The COBIT framework is structured around governance and management objectives, each playing a vital role in comprehensive IT governance. Governance objectives help organizations achieve their strategic goals, while management objectives ensure effective resource utilization. This dual focus ensures a balanced approach to IT governance. At the heart of COBIT are specific components that guide both governance and management practices. These include processes, organizational structures, information flows, and culture, which are all interrelated. They work together to create a framework that supports the alignment of IT and business goals. Understanding how these components interrelate is crucial. For example, well-defined processes support efficient information flows, while a strong organizational structure promotes clear governance. Together, they ensure that IT governance is not isolated practices but a comprehensive, integrated system. As we move forward, you'll see how these components can be applied within your organization to achieve the best results. Next, we'll cover the steps for implementing COBIT effectively. Focusing on best practices and common pitfalls to avoid. Implementing COBIT in your organization involves a structured approach, requiring careful planning and execution. Begin by assessing your current governance practices to identify areas needing improvement. Next, define the scope of implementation, ensuring alignment with your business goals and IT strategy. Develop a clear roadmap outlining each step and setting realistic timelines. Engage stakeholders from the outset, gaining their support and understanding the specific needs of various departments. Ensure continuous monitoring and measurement against defined objectives to track progress and make necessary adjustments. Best practices include establishing a cross-functional team responsible for governance, maintaining open communication channels, and leveraging existing tools and practices where applicable. Offer training and resources to your team, ensuring everyone is equipped to participate effectively. Common pitfalls to avoid are underestimating stakeholder buy-in, neglecting continuous monitoring, and failing to adapt the framework to your organization's unique context. By following these steps and best practices, your organization can achieve robust IT governance and reap the benefits of improved information management. Next, you'll see practical examples and case studies of successful COVID implementations. In this segment, let's delve into the real-world applications of COVID. We'll explore compelling case studies showing how various organizations have leveraged COVID to enhance their IT governance and information management practices. Our journey begins with companies that have implemented COBIT to streamline processes, reduce inefficiencies, and fortify IT infrastructure. These success stories are about the results and the valuable lessons learned along the way. From overcoming initial hurdles to achieving remarkable improvements in governance, these examples highlight the transformative power of COBIT. As we examine each case, pay close attention to the strategies employed and the outcomes achieved. These insights can provide a roadmap for your COVID implementation. The successes and challenges faced by these organizations serve as practical lessons that can help you navigate your journey with COVID more effectively. Next, you'll see how the real-world application of COVID can turn theoretical principles into tangible results, setting the stage for the next segment where we'll explore the benefits of using COVID in your organization. As your organization navigates the complex landscape of IT governance, it becomes clear how transformative COBIT can be. One of the most significant benefits of using COBIT is improved IT governance. By providing a comprehensive framework, COBIT aligns IT strategy with business objectives, ensuring all processes and resources are optimized and managed. In addition to better governance, 
implementing COBIT ensures enhanced information management. This includes structured data processes, streamlined information flow, and robust policies for data security and integrity. By adhering to COBIT principles, organizations can handle information more effectively, leading to smarter decision-making and greater transparency. Furthermore, COBIT significantly increases operational efficiency. By setting clear control objectives and performance measures, COBIT helps identify and eliminate inefficiencies, allowing organizations to operate more smoothly and cost-effectively. Workflows are optimized, redundancies minimized, and overall productivity boosted. As we move forward, you'll discover practical tips to implement COBIT successfully within your organization, ensuring these benefits are fully realized. Let's explore the next steps in your journey toward better IT governance and enhanced operational efficiency. As you embark on implementing COBIT in your organization, key strategies can greatly enhance your chances of success. First and foremost, understand that planning is crucial. Assess your current IT governance framework and define the scope of your COBIT implementation. This sets a strong foundation. Prioritize stakeholder engagement. Involve both IT and business leaders to ensure alignment with organizational goals. Their support and understanding are vital. Challenges will arise, but recognizing common hurdles ahead of time can prepare you to tackle them head-on. Resistance to change is frequent. Overcome this by clearly communicating the benefits of COBIT and demonstrating early successes to gain buy-in. Resource allocation is another challenge. Ensure your team has the necessary training and resources to implement COBIT effectively. Establish a culture of continuous improvement. COBIT is not a one-time project but an ongoing process. Monitor, review, and refine your practices regularly to adapt to evolving business needs. With these practical tips, you're better equipped to navigate the complexities of COBIT implementation. In our next segment, we'll wrap up with a summary of key points and actionable steps to help you get started. In conclusion, the COBIT framework stands as a robust guide for achieving excellence in IT governance and information management. Throughout this video, we've explored its principles, components, and the significant benefits it offers. From understanding its core framework to practical implementation steps, we've aimed to provide you with comprehensive insights. We encourage you to take the next step and begin integrating COBIT into your organization. By doing so, you can enhance efficiency, improve governance, and ensure your IT strategy aligns with business goals. Remember, the journey to better IT governance starts with a single step, and COBIT offers a well-defined path. Thank you for joining us in this educational journey. We look forward to seeing the positive impact COBIT will bring to your organization. Stay connected, stay informed, and take action. Until next time.